Hello and welcome to this webinar from Define Instruments. My name is Roy Mulder and today I'd like to present to you the Zen IoT Gateway. The Zen IoT Gateway is cased in a compact DIN rail mount case. It has a 10 to 30 volt DC power supply with low power sleep mode. It has up to 12 universal analog inputs, each fully isolated and capable of several different modes of operation. It has four digital input pins. Uh, these can be configured as status inputs, counters, or frequency counters. And it includes four relay outputs, three solid state relays and one latching relay. The Zen IoT Gateway also has several communications options. It has an RS-232, fully isolated RS-232485 port, which is auto-detecting. It also has a programming port on the front to make it easy to configure the Zen IoT Gateway through our workbench programming tools with our USB bridge key. It also has optional communications, either a wired Ethernet port, a Wi-Fi as shown in the image, or a low energy Bluetooth, and an additional RS-232, RS-485 port for driving an external modem. Zen IoT Gateway also includes onboard data logging, over 30,000 samples, each sample storing up to 30 parameters. It includes a sleep mode which allows it to go to sleep into a low power mode between logged samples and wake up to log. And it includes a real-time clock with automatic daylight savings in time zone, etc. Zen IoT Gateway is ideally suited for cloud connections. Um, either wired Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or external 3G, 4G modem. It supports MQTT protocol via a TLS encrypted connection. It currently supports connections to DeviceWise and the Xively IoT cloud platforms, and we plan to add more cloud providers in the near future. It's a simple one-click process to register uh, a device uh, onto the Xively cloud. And the Zen IoT gateway can function as a gateway to Modbus devices or as an edge device with a built-in scripting logic engine for custom control applications. Now I'd like to show you what's involved in deploying your Zen IoT device to the Xively cloud. So I've connected up to a Zen IoT 4 through the PC programming port on the front of the unit via our, our bridge key. And um, now I'm going to connect to the device. The first thing you should do before deploying the device onto the cloud is to make sure that your device is configured correctly. Configuration of the Zen IoT device is very similar to the configuration of our other products. You'll see in our Workbench 2 application here, um, tabs down the left hand side here showing setup of inputs, digital inputs, totalizers, set points, relays, logging, etc. So it's important that you first configure your input channels to your required application. Um, this includes setting up things like the channel name, obviously the input type, um, and the temperature scale in this case. All these configuration parameters will need to be done before deploying to the cloud as they will be parameters that will be used in the cloud update. So once you've been through and configured the unit, then you can start deploying the, the device to the cloud. Another important thing to check is the logging. If clicking on the logging tab will show you which channels will be published to the cloud. So um, you can publish any of the channels shown down here on the left. At the moment, for this example, I'm just going to publish the four input channels. Also note the sleep between logs function up here. As mentioned earlier, this allows the device to go to sleep in between log samples and wake up to log, which um, greatly conserves the, um, the power used by the device. The Zen IoT device functions with plugins. You may be familiar with plugins. Um, they're used in our range of Zen devices. And today we're going to be using the Wi-Fi plugin, obviously, with the Xively cloud. And once you've, your plugin is correctly loaded, your, a Wi-Fi um, tab will appear in the column on the left. So clicking on the Wi-Fi tab 
shows you firstly the setup of the Wi-Fi, the local Wi-Fi connection. Um, enter your um, your SSID and your passphrase, and um, you can give the site a name and an ID. Once your Wi-Fi connection is established, then click on the Exively tab. To work with Exively Cloud, obviously you'll need to have an account with Exively. You'll need to contact Exively directly to organize this. And once you have the account established, then you can use the account ID and your account sign-up information in this panel here. So enter your password and then click Login. When clicking Login, the Define Workbench will um, connect to the Exively Cloud using your credentials. We'll check if the device that you are trying to um, register is currently registered or not. And if it's not, it'll come back and ask you um, whether you wish to add this device to the Exively Cloud. By clicking Add, Workbench 2 will do everything in the background to register the device on the Exively Cloud. Up here we have a setting for update interval. This simply sets the um, time interval at which data is published to the cloud. This is different to the logging interval. Um, the logging interval, for example, could be set up to log every 10 minutes, but you may only want to update this information to the cloud every hour or every day. Um, so these two can be different. Once your device is publishing to the cloud, you'll see the updated samples being published here. I've now logged into my account in the Exively Cloud and uh, soon we should see some data being pushed up to the cloud. And there you can see the data coming through. Well that concludes our look at the Zen IoT Gateway. If you have any more questions, um, please visit our website uh, defineinstruments.com. You'll find um, more technical data sheets and so on on this device. Thank you for listening and goodbye.